The combination switch and emergency brake lever quadrant is held in with two clips and two screws. In order to have access to the screws, pull on the emergency brake release handle and then you can see them. Once the screws are removed, reach in through the side where we just removed the side cover and you can disconnect the clips with your fingers. Once you pull out the combination switch, you can remove the one electrical connector and the cable for the emergency brake release and then it's out. The lower dash pad on the driver's side is removed with several Torx screws and also contained in this dash pad is something new to Mercedes-Benz, the knee airbag to protect your knees from impacting the steering column. Make sure to disconnect this and of course as always observe all airbag safety precautions. The steering column switches can be removed as an assembly by loosening the one 27 size Torx up from the bottom. Once that screw is released, the whole thing slides right off. The steering column adjustment cover is held on with four screws. Once they're removed, pull it down and turn it either way to the left or to the right. Otherwise, there won't be clearance to remove it with the steering column in place.